Hi everyone, I'm Nicole Perez, this year's U.S. Youth Observer to the United Nations. I'm here today at the World Food Program, the largest humanitarian agency fighting hunger worldwide. And I'm here with Jonathan Dumont, who's going to talk to me a little, bo a little bit about what the World Food Program does. So John, tell me what you do here at WFP. I'm the head of television communications. Um, about once a month I go uh, out somewhere in the field uh, to shoot footage. Right now we're in a situation where we have a lot of emergencies, so uh, it's uh, footage that we distribute to news organizations, we put it out on social media, um, just to raise awareness about, uh, about the people who we're trying to help, you know, yeah. and show the situations and what WFP is doing to, uh, to help to mitigate the, the problem. So how big is WFP? How many people are working for the organization? Right now we have about 14,000 people. Uh, almost all of them are in the field. And headquarters here in Rome, we have uh, about a thousand, a little more than a thousand. So we're really a field-based organization. Yeah. Now that's where the people are, that's where we work. Um, so this is our operations center where we, you know, keep up sort of a global view of what's happening in the world. And how do you keep track of like where people are moving to in areas of conflict? Like, yeah, I and mean, that's a huge part of what are. we do is, is just uh, trying to figure out who, pe where people are and why, 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 why they would be moving or where they're moving to. I'm trying to figure out what the needs are, if they're moving, what they're, you know, what kind of food security yeah. in the places that they're going to, what they're going to find when they get there or, you know, what, it, you know, a lot of a lot of the times, the reason why people move is because they don't have enough food. In South Sudan is the most complicated right now just because there's very few roads, we have people in very remote places, large populations are being forced to move, yeah. so pre-positioning is difficult, and that's where we actually have the most number of airdrops right now. We also have, you know, there's the Nile, so yeah. we, I mean, we have food going up on barges, um, but like in Nepal, we were carrying stuff on donkeys and wow. you know, having Sherpas carry food up to remote villages because yeah. you know, it's, you know, no it's a different way. challenge you know yeah. and so every place is is different you know yeah so John can you tell me what can young people do today to help WFP and its mission well we have uh, a lot of uh, ways to engage young people and uh, we have internships we have a program that brings uh, young people on, their government supports them and brings them in uh, and, and allows them to work here or obviously preferably out in the field. We like to say it's the toughest job you'll ever love because if you really want to make a difference, you know, this is the place to come. You're out there in the field, we're reaching people who really need your help, needs the world's help, needs Americans to help. It's a sacrifice, yeah. but you, if you want to make a difference in the world, this is the place this to come because this is where you're going to meet uh, the most incredible people in the most incredible places in the planet. How can young people use social media to raise awareness on the issues that are happening around the world? Like where should people, where should young people be getting their content from? How can young people work together to raise awareness on these issues? Well, storytelling is, is everything. I mean, what, that's something that we struggle with all the time here. How can we make people care about people who they have no idea exists or uh, under what circumstances they're living in? So we need to find a way to connect people who are living in, in Ohio or California or New York with people who are living in the most remote place and out in the desert in Chad or in uh, in Haiti or in, in, in North Korea, anywhere. How do you get people to, to connect with them? How do you get them to care? We can provide those stories. We can provide the raw content. And this yeah. is something that we do really well because we're there. We, we see these people. So if you can help amplify those stories, if people can help find uh, common ground, find make common those, ground, make those yeah. connections, it can make a real difference because, you know, the world needs to get closer yeah. together. It's hard not to love somebody whose story you don't know. And uh, the more people are aware of these stories, I think the more, the more empathy we'll build in communities and the more support we'll build for the World Food Program and other UN agencies. Well, thanks for awesome. your help. Thank you. <laughs>